They're gonna put me in the movies. They're gonna make a big star out of me. Biggest thing to ever hit the big time. And all you gotta do is act naturally. Well, I bet you I'm gonna be a big star. That you can surely tell. I bet you I'm gonna be a big star. Cause I can play the part so well. I'm going to talk just a little bit about motivation. Because within my work, I have a collective of metaphors, a group of metaphors, symbols for male characteristics. But then I always have a tendency to be doing things that are sometimes outside of my standard uh, collective of imagery. Um, the Screaming Man, for example, usually is talking about men, women, and also uh, nuclear holocaust. But on occasion, he's allowed to talk about lying as with a Pinocchio, or in this case, uh, I did a tribute to Ringo Starr of the Beatles. Um, I think in retrospect, after this being 2009, as opposed to being 1970, uh, my favorite of the characters is Ringo Starr. And they're gonna put me in the movie. They're gonna make and I like the fact that he was kind of a hidden identity. He was the drummer, and I think, what, three songs out of all the songs that the Beatles produced were his? Uh, the two that I'm conscious of is, is this one about uh, playing the part so well, and the other one was the Yellow Submarine. Um, I perceive myself as an overachiever. I come from uh, Iowa, from a farmland. I grew up in Kentucky. And uh, my, my uncles and my uh, grandfather and, and my father were all hard-headed hard working men. It's like they always had to overachieve. There were so many obstacles in their way that if they didn't overachieve, uh, life would have held them back. And I perceive that I am a descendant from that collective from my hockeys and from my SIDS and from my Windows. And uh, I always perceived that uh, Ringo Starr was a little bit of an overachiever as well. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about was images that sometimes are different than mine. I have an entire series of um, metal pieces that are with tools. And uh, everyone asks me, well, how can, what are these tools about? What are these collages about? And I say that one of my best friends, Jimmy, uh, his brother died, Tommy, and we went and we cleaned Tommy's place out. And we cleaned more than 10 vehicles. We took uh, 12,000, six tons of trash out of that place. And at the end of the day, after uh, almost two months of moving trash, I was given all the tools that were from Tommy's place. And I did an entire series of 21 pieces on Tommy's toys. And so m my motivation can be outside of myself. It can come from other, others as well. Um, one of my strongest motivations, one of the motivations that um, motivates me the most, uh, is I'm socially conscious. Um, I'm devoted to Jesus Christ and the concept of, of being devoted to God. Um, I like... Uh, I like passive resistance. Uh, I like the concept of, of loving your neighbor uh, as much as yourself. And um, sometimes uh, the concept of isn't God great? And the individual, the consciousness that brought me to God was Jesus. So on this painting, I'm thanking Jesus for my consciousness of God. And I also have this little piece here that is um, a series that I have on the prophecies of Jesus Christ. Um, and I put this one here. Uh, this, was one of, this was the first of the prophecy pieces, metal prophecy pieces. And it's the one that has been in, in two or three or four exhibitions in Europe, in Milan. And, uh, and the crucifixes, the crucifixions, uh, I collected from the uh, flea markets in Milan, Italy. And after I had a collective of more than 20 or 30, I started putting them into my sculptures. Now, isn't that funny that by walking the flea markets of Milan, Italy, I could pick up 
crucifixions, crucifixes, and then in the end, it would be an entire series of pieces based on the prophecies of Jesus Christ. Um, with me, I always like to talk about when I'm a critic, and I'm always with other artists, I always like for them to talk about where they come from, because I believe that where you come from has a lot to do with what you make. And the influences of a friend, a friend of a friend, or a thought about God, or even somebody like Ringo Starr being so uh, socially accepted that he couldn't help but succeed. Those are just a few of my, uh, my altar images.